let's recall students have you tried the activity that shows air has weight which is given on page number 16 of your science textbook try this take a stick from a broom or paper or plastic two balloons cello tape if required rubber and a pin see that you have to hang that broomstick so you have to adjust the center at the center you can tie thread or your rubber is used you to hang it to rigid support now you can see the broomstick is horizontal now you are going to tie balloons to both the ends of this broomstick you can use cello tape to fix it there here the broomstick is still horizontal now with the help of a pin we are going to inflate one of the balloon there is a pin let's prick it the stick goes down on the side of the inflated balloon this means that air has weight geographical explanation anything that has weight exerts pressure on the thing that lies below it thus the air in the atmosphere exerts pressure on the surface of the earth due to this air pressure various phenomena like storms precipitation etc occur in the atmosphere there are variations in air pressure air pressure is not uniform on all places on the earth surface air pressure keeps on changing from time to time the altitude of a region temperature of the air and the amount of water vapor in the air are some factors influencing air pressure altitude of the region and air pressure the proportion of dust in the air water vapor heavy gases etc is higher in the air closer to the surface of the earth this proportion decreases with increasing altitude as one moves higher and higher from the surface of the earth the air becomes thinner and thinner as a result the air pressure decreases with increasing altitude air temperature and air pressure try this take a flying lantern tie an approximately 5 meter long thread to the flying lantern so that you can bring the lantern down whenever you require after carefully reading the instructions given on the package of the lantern open it and light the candle placed in it observe what happens after some time bring the lantern down with the help of the thread and put off the candle did the flying lantern start ascending immediately after the candle was lit yes what would have happened to the flying lantern had the candle got extinguished after the lantern had gone up in the air the lantern would have fallen back on the earth geographical explanation the air in the flying lantern gets heated once the candle is lit the hot air expands becomes lighter 
and starts moving up. Therefore, the latter is also lifted up towards the sky. In nature too, a similar phenomena occurs. Temperature and air pressure are closely related. Wherever the temperature is high, the air pressure is low. As the temperature rises, the air gets heated, expands and becomes lighter. This lighter air in the vicinity of the earth's surface starts moving up towards the sky. As a result, the pressure in such areas decreases. Temperature zones and pressure belts are interrelated to each other, but the latitudinal extent of the temperature zones is much larger while pressure belts are narrower. For example, the temperate zone extends from 23 degree 30 minutes to 66 degree 30 minutes. Compared to this, the air pressure belt has limited extent. It is generally up to 10 degree parallel. The uneven distribution of the temperature influences the distribution of air pressure too. This leads to the formation of low and high pressure belts horizontally between the equator and the poles. Observe the diagram 4.2a and 4.2b carefully and answer the following questions. Which pressure belt is mainly found in the tropics? Equatorial low pressure belt is mainly found in the tropics. With which pressure belt are the polar winds associated? In which temperature zone are they observed? The polar winds are associated with polar high pressure belt and subpolar low pressure belt. It is observed in the frigid zone. What could be the reason behind a low pressure belt in the tropics? Low pressure belt is formed in the tropics because the temperature is high. With which pressure belts are the winds in the temperate zone associated? The winds in the temperate zone are associated with mid-latitudinal high pressure belt. Write the latitudinal extent of the low pressure belts. The latitudinal extent of equatorial low pressure belt is between 5 degree north and 5 degree south parallel and the latitudinal extent of the subpolar low pressure belt is between 55 degree and 65 degree parallel in both the hemispheres. Think about it. What will be the effect on air pressure if temperature drops? Why? If temperature drops, the air pressure will increase as the air becomes heavy.